one of the reasons for Canadians' lack of knowledge about the military dates back to 1968. Prior to that date, the military had a day-to-day -day presence at Canada's universities. So at that crucial point where the new professional managerial class was being developed, the department disconnected from them and disconnected from the future leadership elites of the country. We learned uh, navigation, we learned seamanship, we learned communication. The UNTD made us Canadians. We, we became not just officers, but we, we left as boys and we became men. It was not too big a thing to say that we became better citizens for, for having been part of that. And there's nothing like it now. place steeped in academic excellence, where admission is offered only to the best, what is the most exclusive club on campus? Go! It's the University Go! Officers Training Corps. You've got military training on the weekends, it's different, it's unusual. Effectively, you're on the run uh, and it's combat survival. I'd never actually anticipated gaining these, these kind of skills. New kids, fresh from home, starting university life. I'd really recommend that to everyone, to be honest. The difference only a few months makes. It was just an incredible experience. I do in fact believe there is a, a crisis at hand in uh, U.S. civil-military relations. I think there's a very real danger that our society in the main and our professionals in uniform will become estranged from one another. Here you go, you're coming up on two hours, 30 minutes. Good job, bring it in. We talk about ourselves as being the place where leaders are made. And leadership is an important part of what we do. Get set, begin. The thing that's great about the ROTC program at private colleges is that um, civilians, such as you know, just other people in the campus who aren't involved in the ROTC program, usually have a friend or two who are in the ROTC program. Uh, it gives them a little bit of ownership um, in knowing that they have a friend who very soon will be uh, a leader in the United States Army. It gives them a little perspective. We definitely socialize, uh, we go to competitions together, hang out on the weekends, and it definitely helps with the college experience. And you have, you know, you have a strong group of people that definitely always has your back. A very large amount of my success now as a business person in the UK uh, has been driven by what I learned at the OTC 20 years ago. I mean, it's maybe bizarre to say that. What I learned from my academic degree has got no comparison to the value I learned from the OTC stuff. When you see, as I have seen at close quarters over many years, the product that comes out of this in terms of someone who is head and shoulders in all sorts of qualities above an average student who's come out of a, an undergraduate course, then one begins to see the benefits of that type of training to society. I, I got no sense at Cambridge that there, there are people who are opposed to having those from the military coming here to study or indeed having our undergraduates doing military training. As for the military coming here, that's military officers coming here, I think most people would say we're going to influence them more than they're going to influence us. Certainly nobody would ever think that the military were going to take over the university. The idea of training officers at universities virtually never debated, unless you ask. We're trying to be a, a peaceful country and negotiate peaceful conflict resolution between other countries and ours and foster a global community. I don't think that reintroducing the military is any way to do that, especially in our educational system. As far as I'm concerned, I want the officers to be as educated as possible. Like, those are supposed to be the smart ones. Setting into a prestigious school, like, that's not a bad thing as far as I'm concerned. If people say they're against it, it's just like, no, welcome whatever we're afraid of. Because then we have to engage in the debate. That's the key, Absolutely. so that's why I don't. I like the idea that if it comes, it comes, well, let's confront it. Not say go away, because that ultimately is gonna be ignorance. We're not looking for people who want to join the army 110%. We're looking for people who show potential in leadership skills and people who are gonna be the leaders of business in 10 to 20 years time.